All right. Hello, Scorpios. Thank you for joining me, Tootsie, here at Snake Lady Tarot. We're going to do your love reading today. Take a look at the feminine and masculine energy around you. Offer you some messages, foresight, and advice over the next few days or so. Only take what resonates. Leave what doesn't behind. Don't force the energy. Don't try to force this square into a circle. Um, maybe you're not... Scorpio. Maybe you've got Scorpio in your birth chart. Maybe you're in a relationship in love or just interested in Scorpio energy. Nevertheless, cross watchers are welcome as well. Thank you for your support also. I have light. I have communication. Bottom of the deck friendship. All right. So you, you're being enlightened lately about some energy around a friendship, basically. All right. So, um, could be new information it could be new communication coming in but you're having a new understanding you're being enlightened you're seeing things that uh, maybe you didn't see before that were hidden come to the light um, but a new understanding about a particular friendship with you all right um, let's take a look at the feminine energy around you okay Messages, advice for Scorpio. Let's look at the feminine energy. What does Scorpio need to know about the feminine energy around you? Messages, advice for Scorpio. All right. Messages, advice. What does Scorpio need to know? Wheel of Fortune, the Magician, and bottom of the deck here, we've got Seven of Cups, clarified by the moon, yeah. Things are coming to light, you're seeing things, um, things are coming to light that were hidden in the dark here for you. All right, um, it looks like it's going to change your environment, this is... Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, Leo energy. I feel like you're wanting to make changes or you're wanting to understand. Perhaps it was your magic that cleared the air, that, that lit up what was hidden in the darkness here. However that resonates for you, but you're seeing the truth. You're seeing what's been hidden. And now you're having the choice, the, the opportunity to make decisions here. Um, whether that's with love, with friendship, with finances, home, um, destructing, walking away. All right. Messages, advice. Let's see. King of Wands, King of Cups. All right. King of Wands, King of Cups energy. And we have the Nine of Wands and the Hermit. Bottom of the deck. Six of Cups, Four of Cups. So masculine energy around you here, Scorpio. You're very standoffish. Um, sorry for the noise. You're very standoffish. You are very caring, endearing, but powerful. Um, your person looks up to you as a leader. Um, perhaps... Perhaps there's third party interference here um, and you're starting to look at your person in a different way, starting to get defensive, put your walls up, needing to feel protected and needing to pull back into hermit mode. Um, this is in the sense of nostalgia and in the sense of unsatisfaction or um, or being given a new opportunity. So perhaps there are new children involved. Perhaps this is something regarding children and family, an opportunity of love, an opportunity of assistance here. Or for some of you, I feel as though there maybe was third party interference, not necessarily children. And it, it makes you defensive. It makes you pull back into hermit mode for you or for your person here, however that may resonate. Let's clarify. All right, messages, advice for Scorpio. What does Scorpio need to know? Let's take a look. What is this wheel of fortune for you, Scorpio? The environment changed. Everything changes. Things are up in the air. 
you're in your emotions but you're standoffish um, being hard-headed but also wanting to fight and defend um, kind of all over the place here I have your four of cups popped over let's be specific there's about ten cards there what's the wheel of fortune for you Messages, advice for Scorpio. What's the Wheel of Fortune? Thank you. The Devil. Knight of Swords. Um, chasing and running, running and chasing. Someone is um, putting forth some sort of manipulation tactics or they're starting to do things their way by their own means and not in accordance with everyone else's needs and wants here. Um, this may be someone's picking and choosing here with seven of cups maybe someone's um changing their mind making a new decision choosing a different option um and running towards it um it's like you're looking for something that's not in the initial picture here this could be third party interference or this could be something out of the blue with regards to children as well all right let's take a look what's the magician for you what is this magician here for? Our feminine energy here with Scorpio. Magician, what is this? Messages, advice for Scorpio. Seven of Wands. All right, so this is good news. This is celebration. This is coming together, um, using your own power to make decisions, using your own power to regain strength, regain balance, to um, enlighten yourself, having what you need within and regaining your balance. Um, perhaps that is something you're creating. Perhaps with this new energy, you're um, having control of your emotions, your feelings, and allowing your magic um, to not only allow you to see what's hidden in the dark, but to also bring you new opportunities and offers with this Four of Cups energy. Um, though things are changing around you, you're, you're holding your own, you're holding your frame, and this is enlightening, and it's also abundant. New offers are coming in. All right, I love that for you. Um... King of Wands, King of Cups, what is this for you? Messages, advice for Scorpio. King of Wands. Ooh, King of Cups. All right, and I've got Seven of Cups and Ten Cups. This is domestic bliss. This is home, health, family, domestic bliss, true happiness, fantasy type of energy with nostalgia, with memories, a long-lasting love, an endearing love. We have six of cups here, children. So this could be family related. This may be more family related here for you, Scorpio. Um, so this is home energy, home relationship. You're in control. You have power. You're the leader. People are looking to you for leadership and authority and to make decisions and to protect them and to overall make good decisions about their growth and stability here. Um, it's a new opportunity um, where you're looking for offers, but you're also having to be defensive here and pull back into hermit mode. All right, what is this nine of wands? What's this nine of wands for you here? Messages, advice for Scorpio. What's this nine of wands for you? Sorry for the small screen, you guys. I cannot get this to zoom out any further. Nine of wands, thank you. <clears throat> Nine of Wands, clarified by the Four of Cups. Yeah, right here next to the Four of Cups. All right. Um, I feel like you're being given this blessing. You're being given this opportunity. Someone is filling your cup back up. Perhaps you're tired. Perhaps you're worn out. Perhaps you're overwhelmed with responsibility and duties here, Scorpio. And not finding the satisfaction or the me time to refill your own cup but spirit is here the divine is here with you you're not alone and you'll notice with nostalgia with love with the things that warm your heart that you are being blessed you are you are having a blessing and some assistance here um, this is giving you this energy to get defensive and want to protect the family and protect the home and provide safety and defensiveness 
Um, but I feel like you're building a wall and you're, you're um, very much getting into your masculine energy here. Um, what's this hermit for you? Messages. Thank you. Eight of Swords. Yeah, you're probably bound by duties and responsibilities, feeling stuck, feeling blindsided, like you're not sure where to go. That's why this blessing is coming in for you. That's why you're having this opportunity, this enlightenment, this opportunity to see things for what they truly are. Maybe you're seeing things about friends around you. Maybe you're seeing things about the friendship, the bonds in the family home. Um, and you're seeing that you're not really tied down, that people actually look to you for the responsibility. You're probably just realizing that you are the king of wands and the king of cups here to the people around you. All right. Um, bottom of the deck, eight of pentacles, hard work, seven of pentacles, growth, hard work, growth. It's a cycle. I'm feeling like you're starting to just notice this. This is what's coming to light for you as you're seeing this new cycle that you're living in. Um, you have opportunity for communication. You have opportunity for friendship to enjoy the little things, joy, laughter, passion. Um, but overall, it does feel like a lot of responsibility here for you. All right, completely understandable. Let's take a look at the houses and planets and signs. Message as advice for you, Scorpio. Planet signs and houses. Oh, that's a bit much. Let us clarify. Messages, advice for Scorpio. What does Scorpio need to know? Cancer energy in the 12th house. So your intuition to protect, attitudes about the past, attitudes remaining from the past, resulting from the history. Um, this is about your feelings, your attitudes about the past, your um, intuition and how you use it moving forward. You're very thoughtful right now, Scorpio. You're, you're thinking ahead, you're thinking behind. Your faith, your hidden tendencies, large institutions and overwhelming events, um, seeking oneness with all there is. Philanthropy, keep your involvement hidden. Um, you're wanting to protect everyone around you. You're, you're, you're seeing the value in what you have and you're moving forward in a cautious manner. Um, it's not that you're not trying to have fun. It's not that you're not trying to participate, but you're cautious and you're paying attention. You're on high alert here. Messages, advice for you, Scorpio. What does Scorpio need to know? You're in your water energy and your cancer energy. You're in your fills. All right. You're in your fills about safety. You're in your fills about how you can keep growing and moving forward. Seven, eight of pentacles. Growing, using what you have to move ahead. All right. You're not wanting to separate. You're not wanting to long. Maybe you're longing for a particular energy of in the past, a togetherness, a stability here. All right. But yes, absolutely in your masculine energy, as far as protecting, um, perhaps there's an apology or forgiveness that's needed with someone in the home as well. Bottom of the deck, comfort zone, south node, clinging, clinging to the past, looking in your rear view mirror, what you're used to, what you're comfortable with. Um, spirits advising, you know, you can stay in your comfort zone or you can move out of this. You can communicate and you can reach out to friends, family, and, um, yeah, higher self activation as well. Um, just tap into your inner powers. We have the magician here. You have the power to make this happen whichever way you'd like it to go. Actually, um, it's your world squirrel. That's basically what I'm getting for you. So what's hidden in the shadows? What don't you know? We've got forgiveness and apology on the table. We've got a load battery. So if we cut off, you guys, take a look at Scorpio Part 2. Um, it's looking good so far, but just in case we get cut off, look for Part 2. All right, what's hidden for you? I've been struggling. 
struggling with understanding, struggling with figuring out how and who you want to be. Maybe your person is struggling as well. Um, perhaps they're having some of the same issues. Trying to see the snakes ahead, right? Hermit energy, you're focused, you're struggling. Trying to shed light on what's hidden, protecting yourself, protecting those around you, protecting your feelings even. So what's hidden in the truth? What's true? What's the truth in this cycle? What do you need to know? You're looking into the past, wanting to be secretive about it, keeping your involvement hidden. What's happening here? I remember every detail of that day. All right. And I am not available. So maybe you're looking into the into a past relationship or someone from the past is stirring up. Um, perhaps you need to look into the past in order to heal. It's time for me to heal now. So yeah, um, I would absolutely suggest don't hold on to things from the past. Let it go and move forward. Let's take a look at Twin Flame Oracle for you. Most of his advice for Scorpio. Scorpios in love. Messages and advice. All right. <clears throat> Free will, choices, decisions, contact, inaction. Action cannot be forced. You have free will. You have to do that yourself. And with a love offer, there's a gesture, an engagement, a wedding perhaps. Rejoice in this union. You're coming together, not so much moving apart. It's just a way of finding the balance at the bottom of the deck. Yin and yang, darkness and light. Stay centered in your higher self. In your higher self. All right. <clears throat> Romance. Messages, advice for Scorpio. Scorpio's in love. engagement all right gesture engagement wedding rejoice in your union your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment i feel like yeah you're just wanting to protect what you have here this is something beautiful and you love this bottom of the deck give your relationship a chance work on your partnership find the balance here find the balance in this relationship there is good love here true love All right, romance advice here. Beware of what you're projecting for the qualities you admire in one another or the qualities you both possess, equally so. The qualities you don't like are also your own reflection. All right, and we have sacred union, honor, and treasure your relationship for it is truly sacred. Yeah, are you truly blessed, blessed, um, connection you have here and I love this for you uh, very blessed here um, let's get angel advice what did the angel say messages for Scorpio please <clears throat> clear your space get rid of clutter clear the energy around you use some feng shui and what about light and love light and love for Scorpio messages advice what a scorpio i need to know thank you shine your inner light brightly the city has no need for sun or moon for the glory of god illuminates the city <clears throat> and the lamb is its light revelations 21 23 <clears throat> sorry about that you guys the city has no need of sun or moon for the glory of god illuminates the city and the lamb is its light Revelation 21, 23. Shine your inner light brightly. Give your relationship a chance. Engagement, love offer, gesture. Rejoice in your union. It's time to heal. Honor and treasure your relationship. It's truly sacred. And the qualities you don't like, you also, they're your own reflection. You have these qualities as well. With your relationship, this is a twin flame. Twin flame. You are yin and yang here. All right, um, communication, friendship, and enlighten yourself. That's what I have for you today, Scorpio. Thank you for being here. Thank you so much for your support, you guys. Like the video, share, subscribe. 
you know, we're like a new channel. We're up to 431 subscribers today. And I do want to thank you all very personally from the bottom of my heart. I really appreciate your support. Um, leave a comment down below if any of this ever resonates with you. Let me know. Find me on Instagram, Snake Lady Tarot. I'm also on Rumble. I post the videos on Rumble as well. Um, I 